Hi guys, welcome back to the news. The APC drags the Oshun State Governor, Ademola Adeleke, to court for appointing himself as the Commissioner for Works. My country people, when they see the while away day for Oshun State, right now the All Progressive Congress, APC, they have sued Governor Adeleke for appointing himself as the Oshun Works Commissioner. Guys, this is really interesting. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The All Progressive Congress APC Ocean State Chapter has dragged the state governor Ademola Deleke of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the state high court for appointing himself as the commissioner for works in the state. Governor Ademola had on Wednesday announced himself as the Commissioner for Works and his deputy, Mr. Kola Adewusi, as the Commissioner for Sports and Special Needs, an appointment objected by the main opposition, the APC, in the state. In a suit marked HOS 0379-2023 and filed against Governor Adeleke, his deputy, Adewusi, the Ocean State Attorney General, and the Commissioner for Justice, and the Ocean State House of Assembly. As the first, the second, the third, and the fourth respondent, now the plaintiff is asking whether by Section 183 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the 1999 as altered as a state, if a state governor can, you know, during the period which he holds office as the governor, hold any other executive position. Whatever, by the section 1925 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as altered, a person can validly uh, appointed, a person can be validly appointed a commissioner of the government of a state if his nomination is not forwarded to and received by the state house of assembly for the purpose of confirmation now the plaintiff apc is therefore seeking a declaration that the appointment by the first defendant himself that's governor demola deliki as the commissioner for works for shun state as announced on the 19th of july 2023 by himself is unconstitutional, invalid, null and void in the views of section 183 and 192 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999. Now, a declaration that the appointment of the second defendant by the first defendant, that is the deputy governor of the state, by Governor Ademola Adeleke himself, as the Ocean State Commissioner uh, for sport and special need, which is the deputy, as announced on the 19th of uh, July 2023, without being nominated. As such, and the nomination can be forwarded to and received by the fourth defendant for the purpose of confirmation is unconstitutional, invalid, null and void in section 192 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So an order nullifying Governor Demola Adeleke's appointment for himself as the Commissioner for Works for Shun State for being invalid, null and void, and contrary to the sections 183 and 192 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So they are seeking this order, nullifying the appointment of the Governor and also his deputy, <laughs> my country people. This one has serious matter for Oshun State. Oh. When they see the problem where they go on for Oshun, this APC now, they don't carry this matter for head. They want us to say, okay, Ademola Adeleke, we would make sure, you know, we give you bomber to bomber in the state. But when Buhari appointed himself as the Minister of Petroleum for good eight years in office, who took him to court then? Shameless leaders we have in Nigeria of today. Buhari was a minister of petroleum and APC never saw, in fact, they never saw anything wrong with that. APC. You see these members of APC, they are myopic and less sensible. When Buhari made himself minister of petroleum, they did not take him to court. Oh. 
Now, they are fighting Governor Demola Adeleke, thinking they would obtain the type of Imo State governorship judgment at the Supreme Court. But God disappointed them. Now, they are fighting the governor from all angles. Equally, you know, uh, the opposition nomination of his commissioners. If not rigging, APC could have not been, could have been completely voted out of power in this country. Let them go to court now and get judgment. And even if they win, the governor will not appoint an APC member as a commissioner. Besides, in court, they should make reference to the ex-president when he was the president and also a petroleum minister. Buari was a minister as well as a president. So, this Buari appointed himself minister of petrol for eight years. APC did not see anything. What hypocrite. Why not drag Buari for appointing himself as the minister of NNPC? Then, they will go to court tire. So, was it not the same under APC? Abego, he learned from the best president, Buhari. So, when Buhari was the minister, and this, he was the president also, they did not drag him over. Now they are dragging this governor. What's he going to consign APC for this matter? Now, wah. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. According to you know, my country people, they don't just say, make APC allow Governor Demola Adeleke to breathe. They should let him breathe. They shouldn't suffocate him in Oshun State. Because it seems that they are hell-bent on suffocating this man. When an APC president, Buhari, did so, nobody heard a thing. They never raised an objection to it. They never opposed to it. But now, a PDP governor has decided to you know, follow the full steps of the ex-president. And now they are shouting. They are dragging him to court. What hypocrites? I mean, they should let Adeleke Brit in Ocean State. Oh, they shouldn't suffocate him. At least, they couldn't get themselves a Supreme Court judgment in Ocean State. So why are they still fighting at Demola Adeleke? What is going on? Now, if they should drag him to court, what will they say is his offense? What are they going to say? So, my country people, all these are reactions from Nigerians. So, so guys, what are your thoughts on this issue? I see they be like this. So, I know, say, for now, uh, the Ocean State governor is just watching because he's the governor and uh, he has a level of uh, immunity, you know, to some certain uh, charges against him or suits against him. But then, my country people, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.